Imagine a world where flying was just a fantasy. No jets, no airports, just dreams. That was reality in the early 1900s. But two brothers from Dayton, Ohio, Wilbur, and Orville Wright were about to change everything. They weren't engineers or scientists, but bicycle mechanics with a passion for solving problems. Their obsession? Cracking the code of human flight. Something that had stumped even the brightest minds for centuries. The Wright brothers didn't just build a plane. They built a wind tunnel in their shop to test wing shapes. They studied birds, experimented with gliders, and crashed more than a few times. Each failure taught them something new. Unlike others, they focused on control, not just lift. Their secret weapon? A system to twist the wings, letting the pilot steer. It was a breakthrough no one else had cracked, and it set them apart from the rest. December 17, 1903, Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. The wind was biting, the sand cold. The brothers rolled out their strange-looking machine, the Wright Flyer. It was made of wood, fabric, and pure determination. Orville climbed aboard, lying flat to reduce wind resistance. With Wilbur running alongside, the flyer sputtered to life. In just 12 seconds, it soared for 120 feet, shorter than a modern airplane's wingspan, but a giant leap for mankind. That first flight was shaky and brief, but it proved powered flight was possible. The flyer didn't just hop, it flew under control, with Orville steering. Three more flights followed that day, each one a little longer. The final flight, piloted by Wilbur, lasted nearly a minute and covered 852 feet. The world didn't notice right away, but the age of flight had begun thanks to two brothers who refused to give up. The Wright brothers' achievement wasn't just about building a machine, it was about persistence, creativity, and daring to challenge the impossible. Their first flight sparked a revolution, inspiring inventors and dreamers everywhere. Today, every airplane, drone, and spacecraft owes something to that cold morning at Kitty Hawk. Next time you board a plane, remember, it all started with two brothers, a beach, and a wild idea that finally took flight.